Hi, welcome to my video on the surface area of a square prism. A square prism is similar in working out the surface area of a square prism is similar to working out the area of a rectangular prism. But it's a little bit easier in that a square prism has a base that's all sides equal making it a square and the heights the same as before going up from the bottom to the top but let's see the base area is what we see is we have two squares for the base area the bottom is a square s s s s and the top is s and s and s and s so the top and the bottom are squares so that means that the one of them is s squared and the other one is s squared to get their areas and the lateral area is that this side has a length times a width this side has a length times a width so the sides are uh, s times h but there's four of them because all the heights are the same and, the, and all the sides are the same. So every uh, lateral area here, all the faces are of the same dimensions, which means that the surface area SA is 2S squared plus 4SH. So a little bit easier to work out because the bottom is a square. So it's not like length times width doubled or width times uh, height doubled and length times height doubled. But this is easier because it's a square base. Again, in a square base prism or box, a box, this is a box with the square base. That means the top is a square base. So there's two squares and all the sides have the same dimensions of S times H and there's four of them. Let's find the surface area of the square prism or what we call the square box. And the bottom is three by three by five and notice they're all the same dimensions. So the surface area is the base area plus the lateral area. And the base of the box is a square, but there's two of them because the top and the bottom is the same. And all the sides are the same, so it's S times H, this side times the height. And if we sub in, S is three. This is S, S, if you want to put the S's, and that's the height. So that's three squared, and S is three, and the height is five. And so it's three squared, Bed mass, you got a square first. You get a 9 times 2 is 18. And you get uh, 12 times 5 is 60. So the total area is 78. And it's total volume, sorry. Oh, okay, volume. I'm working on surface area. So it's 78 square centimeters. B, I have the surface area of SA is base area plus lateral area. And the base is the square, but there's two of them, so it's 2S squared. And the sides for them are the same as SH. And so we got an S, an S, and an H. So it's 2 and 2.5 squared. 4, 2.5 times the height of 3. When you multiply that out, uh, 2.5 squared times 2 with a calculator, you get 12.5. And 4 times 2.5 times 3, that's 10 times 3 is 30. If you add it up, you get 42.5. And again, we're dealing with area, so it's square inches. We're dealing with area. And practice. Practice means you pause the video and work out each of these. Do one at a time. 
we want the surface area of the square base box. So the surface area is base area plus lateral area. The base is a square, so it's two of them. And the four sides are the same, and it's S times H. So that's an S, an S, and an H. And S is six, so six squared. S is six, and the height is seven. So 36 times two is 72. And 24 times seven, calculator or pen. And if you add 72 and 168 up, you get a 240. And again, we're dealing with surface area, so it's yards squared or square yards. And number two, this time, even though the boxes, the, the squares on the end, we could still say the base, this is the base and that's the base, and this is the lateral area. Uh, either or, but it makes no difference as long as you work it out. So the base area is a square, so there's two squares, and there's four SH. So that's an S, that's an S. And this is your H now. So you don't have to be really going up vertical. It could be going ver perpendicular to this space. So S is 1.4 squared. And S is 1.4. And the height is 7.2. So 1.4 squared times 2 gives you 3.92 when you use your calculator. 4 times 1.4 times 2.7 gives you 40.32 with your calculator. And you add them up, you get a 44.24. And we're dealing with millimeters, so it's millimeters squared because we're dealing with area. Dealing with area. And that's working out the uh, surface area of a square prism or a square box and this is knowing the difference that helps us work out when we get to the higher math uh, it's most a lot of math is simple in the sense that they keep things nice like this instead of a rectangular box they'll make the bottom of the box a square so the calculations are a little bit easier to work with and manip to manipulate and if you like my video, click the like button, click the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber, and the notification bell if you are a subscriber. Write a comment on my video if you wish, and visit my math website, mathfullyexplained.com, to find information about me, my videos, the teaching strategies I'm going to use to help you learn, and uh, the content that's already online is in black, and the red content is what I'll be developing in the future. Thank you very much for viewing my video. Bye-bye.